Kicking out content like hotcakes, it's your boy Raj back again with another damn unboxing. Yes, another one. This is probably like video, I don't know, three or four of 27 or some crazy shit. Uh, but your boy's behind. His phone crashed last week, lost a lot of content. So we're going to make do today since we are currently iced in out here in the Midwest. So if you haven't already, go check out my unboxing video for the Pro Wrestling Crate by Pro Wrestling Tees. And then also check out my recent purchases video where I get to recap all the stuff I've gotten over the last two or three weeks because, you know, phones suck and you lose shit. So <laughs> go check that out. Uh, that should be already uploaded to the YouTube channel. But right now in this video, if you're a NACA fan, if you're a classic movie fan, if you're a current movie fan, but you like big giant monsters, this video is for you. We've got King Kong by NACA. This one is awesome. Even better, clearance buy, bro. Clearance. Oh, these things normally retail for about 30 bucks. Your boy went to Walmart, pulled up the Walmart app, just started scanning shit randomly on the shelf in the NECA section because Walmart is the absolute worst about putting anything that's actually on clearance on the clearance aisle. And wouldn't you know, I scanned the barcode with the Walmart app and it said 10 bucks. 10 bucks. That's real. $10. A third of the price. The box is messed up, and guess what? They had three others, and they're in great shape. I have no plans to keep this in box. It's King Kong. It need a dude this big, you gotta let him breathe. In fact, I'm probably gonna put him right next to Goliath, because he's so damn big, I still don't know where to put him. He's sitting up on top of the shelf next to Hulk Hogan, because he just takes up so much damn space. But, King Kong by NECA. Let's check it out. Box design on this is really cool. I do love how it looks like he's kind of got the sunset in his face. Uh, nice little action pose of him there. A little side shot of the box. Another action pose on the back. Couple of poses actually. Just the way your boy likes it. Action shots of the damn figure, not pictures from a movie or the comic book. Is if you've seen me unbox multiverse DC McFarland stuff, you'll know I absolutely hate it. Uh, whenever they would put, action, put shots of the character on the back of the package, and it's literally just a, 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 a snippet from a comic book. Like, just show me the damn figure in action, please. Uh, last shot there on the side. Let's go ahead and open up this window. Check it out through the bay door, if you guess from Mina. There you go, action shot of Kong. Like I said, this one's very cool. It's got an extra head with it. Got a couple extra hands. Um, kind of tucked away there in the back, a little hard to see. But this Kong, the figure itself has the lighting effect on it. And that's so damn cool. That's like such a such a unique concept, if that makes sense. Uh, out of all the figures I own, this is probably the only one that has something like that on it. Uh, and I've actually been eyeballing this, from, this one for quite a while. But unfortunately, if you're deciding whether to get something or not, 30 bucks is a really steep price to drop for something that you're just not sure if it's going to fit in your collection or not. At 10 bucks, who gives a shit? Just buy it, throw it in there. That's like two cups of coffee. If that, if you go to Starbucks, that's one. I don't do Starbucks. Your boy's cheap. I make my own coffee at home. Come on, dude, get real. Okay, anyways, but let's go ahead and crack Kong open. Let's see how this bad boy is. I'm excited about this. My brother, good brother Hall, collector of all things NACA, mostly horror and big bad monsters, but. He is definitely a NECA collector for sure. He is a mint in box guy, which I don't blame him. Some of them do display very nice just in the box. However, uh, your boy's very picky and there's very few things I keep uh, in box when it comes to my NECA collection. And right now that's currently three figures and that's the two puppet master packs and the Evil Dead 2 Ash uh, that I currently, or that I previously talked about in another video. So, all right, we've got Kong out of the package and his little plastic prison there. Got a little plastic twist tie there in the back. It's a very old school way of securing it to the package in the bubble. Don't see that too often anymore. More often than not, they usually have the kind of rubber band style um, bands in there to hold the figure to the package, but this thing's really heavy. So, I mean, I guess it does make sense to have an actual wire of some sorts in there. Uh, to secure it into the bubble because uh, with the weight of it, I'm sure it probably just bust right past that rubber. Uh, and speaking of, it does have those rubber style ties around the knees. 
And then of course there around the wrist as well. But you boys prepared this time. No more of that sitting there and waiting four minutes for your boy Raj to rip them off with his bare hands. I'm just gonna be a little smarter today because quite frankly, I got a lot of content to kick out and I got forever to spend trying to break straps and crap with my hands. And even the head was secured in with a rubber band too. So that's good to know. Uh, all right, so there's the extra head that comes with it. Look at that, that is badass. I think it's probably gonna be the head I end up going with. That looks really cool. Beautiful like coloring and shading on it. I love that sunset effect uh, hitting the body like that. And then of course there is the head uh, or the hole where it fits into the neck joint. So very cool head design right there. Love that. Oh, those teeth and mouth. Ugh. Uh, damn it, pal. Look at those teeth. Ugh. Sorry. Shout out to Jake. He's my favorite Vince McMahon impersonator. Check him out. Brothers in Kayfabe on Facebook. Find their podcast on Spotify. Your boy Rogs is on there. We did the 2022 Royal Rumble review. Had a lot of fun uh, shooting the breeze with the good brothers. Had a nice chit chat. So go check them out. Brothers in Kayfabe. Find them on Facebook, TikTok, and on Spotify. Just search Brothers in Hey, Fave. All right. Now that my rambling is done, all of the bands, which there was a lot of bands in that one. So if you buy this one and you plan to open it, definitely bring a knife to the fight or else you're going to be there for quite a while. And some of those bands on the hands uh, and on the legs specifically are very, very tight in very tight spots. Real hard to get to. So uh, here are the hands. Got some kind of, you know, Got a little bit of, of the, you know, coloring right there on the sides. Kind of see the color shift there. A little bit of on that one too. Actually a lot more on the backhand of that one. But really nice. Uh, no posability, those fingers do not move. Um, but they the wrist do flex, so that's nice. Um, all right, Kong. So here's where we're clearly gonna, you know, have, I wouldn't say a problem per se, but if you are a NECA collector, you already know what I'm about to worry about, and that is doing anything with this thing in the fashion of posing. <sighs> but good news is it was 10 bucks, so if something breaks, I'll be pissed, but I won't be heartbroken. So, let me uh, clear that off, because that's not something I need to mess with right now. So there's Calm right there. A lot of detail on this. The hair looks great on it. The light, the lighting effect on it is beautiful. See how like the sun's hitting the side and it's kind of got the dark shadow uh, overcast on the other side. Very, very cool. So the head actually turns pretty well. Will not complain with that. So let's go ahead and pop it off real quick. Hope the neck joint does not break in the process. If it does, I, I'm, I might. Okay, I won't cry, but. Um, Okay, so, um, boy, that's, that's tight. That is, that's uncomfortably tight. There we go. Okay, safe. Nothing worse than breaking the, the little neck stud. That just, you break that, it's game over, and that sucks. At that point, you're pretty much going to have to just grill or glue the head to the damn figure and, I don't think anybody wants to do that. All right, let's see if we can get this new one to pop on. And it is um, tough, man. This uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit easier. Um, surprisingly, <sighs> swapping heads on NECA figures typically isn't something I have a problem with. Usually, it's they're fairly easy. Uh, this one's posing to be a little bit of a problem, but okay. So I've got it on. I think it looks a lot better with a screamy face. So we'll good, screamy face. Now, so currently he's got the closed fist. Let's go ahead and see what range of flexibility it's got. Oh man, it is so tight. Um, so. Whew. 
Oof. It's it makes you nervous. Like, do you know the feeling if you're a NECA collector? Yeah, yeah. You, you have the the arms up, and you're just trying to see if you can get to go to that next joint. And I know you're like, you need to warm it up before you do that. I mean, I get that, but there is no hot water out here. And do you think I'm trying to sit here with a pot of hot water or bowl of boiling water or some crap like that to um, warm up this figure in the middle of an unboxing? Not a chance. You're crazy. So, all right, so the elbows, double jointed the arms. So that is actually not bad. It bends pretty well and it's surprisingly loose. So um, I definitely give it points for that. I, that's one of the things I usually have the most problems with is elbow joints on the NECA stuff. Um, so you can hear the hip joints popping as I move the legs back and forth. Uh, so that's the thing. A um, little bit of a flex in the torso. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, actually, it can almost full on roll. So that's nice. See how far back it can go. Okay, I'm not gonna push it that much, but it will go forward quite a bit. Maybe you can do some kind of like a, a seated pose or something like that. Looks like, okay, so the feet have joints on the ankles right there, okay? So if you can get those to move without breaking it, I'm not gonna do that right now because uh, the ankle specifically, uh, I'm very um, touchy with because yeah, you break the foot off, and then there goes the option of even standing up. I break the neck joint, I can, glue, I can glue the head back on, and it's not as much of a problem. But the hip joints do move well, which is surprising straight out of the box. Usually they're really, really tight, and these are just tight enough, and they kind of have that ratchet clip to them, which I do like. Uh, does hold it in place pretty well, and the knees, surprisingly, aren't too bad in the uh, bend department either. So yeah, I uh, and out actually um, the so the knees are double jointed, joint here, joint there at the top, um, and yeah, it's not bad. I mean, the damn ankle really almost touches the back of the back of the the, the thigh, so that's pretty pretty neat. Um, yeah, man, you know this is actually surprisingly nice. I mean, no wrong, like visually, uh, this figure is good. Uh, I love the design of it. I love. Uh, the colors, the color scheme. I love um, how it's just kind of got that that sunset effect hitting it. Let's go ahead and change the hands out real quick because I do want I want the open hands. Good deuce hands. Oh, wrong wrong thing. Sorry. Go check my wrestling videos. <laughs> if you get that points to you. Um, okay, so um, All right, so one hand's in, and the good thing is, is that it actually looks like it belongs in place. I've seen too many times recently, and not just with NECA figures, but with um, other toy lines where you'll swap out the hands uh, to the, you'll swap the hands that are on the figure already to the hands that are included with it, the extras. And for some reason, the hands look weird. They just don't either fit right, or they look like they're maybe not properly scaled. It's like something's off with them. And I've been noticing that happening more and more lately, which is kind of driving me crazy. So yeah, like... Oh. Oh. Oh, it's so tight. Ah. Oh boy, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna break this damn thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at that, man. That looks awesome. Probably like... I don't think I'd trust him on a flight stand. He, I mean, he is so heavy. But dude, look at that. Like even just like in a weird spot in my hand, he holds up fairly okay. So on a solid surface, he's gonna he's gonna handle pretty well. Uh, but yeah, look at that, man. Super figure, ten bucks, dude. Let's go. I mean, check out check out your your local Walmart and if they have these. And if you're a Kong fan, grab it. This is very cool. I uh, don't know if I'd be big on getting the other Kong figures. I mean, they're also pretty nice as well, but they're very, they're very plain, if that makes sense. This one's got so much character to it just because of the paint scheme on it alone. And it really makes the face pop even more than normal just because of that paint scheme. So yeah, man, very cool. Uh, good job to NECA for this one. Uh, recommend it for sure. Definitely pick this up if you're on the fence. Check it out. 
see if you can find it on clearance. And even if you can't, if you are on the fence of getting it because you don't know if it's going to be any good out of the box, um, I mean, I recommend it. It looks great. I can't wait to actually get it on the shelf next to Goliath from Gargoyles because I think that's going to make a really nice Monster Mash style scenario uh, for my display. Uh, but guys, I think it's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for checking it out. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment. I try to interact with you guys every chance I get. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Collecting Raj. But as always, thank you for checking it out. And have yourselves an awesome week.